Um, we are reviewing beer. Which woods have a goblin? Which uh, woods have a uh, goblin? Stop, drop, hop, goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do that like nine times on the way here. Welcome to Dorvin Kager. I'm Tanner. And I'm Rob. And today we have the pleasure of reviewing Witchwood Brewery's Hobgoblin. Yes. Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, let you know when our videos are coming out. And I'm just going to say, we are excited to review this beer for multiple reasons. The first and most important reason being that this is the first beer that's ever been suggested to us by a uh, viewer of the channel, supporter of the channel, Terry at Terry's Quick Beer Reviews, established 2014. He's another beer reviewer on YouTube. Check out his channel. We'll post the link in the description. Terry, brother, thank you so much for your support and thank you for this recommendation. We are really looking forward to it. We really are. Second reason we're excited. It's called Witchwood Hobgoblin. Are you kidding me? I mean, we've said it a million times. We'll probably say it a million more. We're huge nerds. This is something we would have probably gravitated to anyway. I mean, just because it's called Hobgoblin. And it's got some pretty cool art on it. it I would say it reminds me definitely of the D&D. D&D. You know, and I, when I heard the about... The D&D. The D and D. I, when I heard about this beer, I'm a huge Magic the Gathering player, and I'm trying to think, is it going to remind me more of Magic, or is it going to remind me more of D&D? And I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is definitely a and d art depiction. You know what? I'm just going to give this a 10 out of 10. We don't even have to try it. This review is over. Okay, first off, it's out of 5. I've been drinking. <laughs> no, really. So, <laughs> this is an English ruby. Um, it's a uh, 4.5%. Uh, this comes in pint cans. Um, it's about 10 bucks for 4. So that's pretty, I mean, it's from... It's from, you know, England, so, I mean, for a beer that had to be imported here, that's, I don't think that's really bad for four pints. Oh, no. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and give you the uh, little breakdown of what it says, a little description. It says, Hobgoblin is a blend of smooth, rich flavors from chocolate and crystal malts. It says, the refreshing bitterness of English fugles, hops and dash, uh, of, and, and, sorry, and a dash of citrus um, from Styrian... Goldings, a beer full of mischievous character. It's a great which description. It's exactly too. what a hobgoblin is. And this hobgoblin's got a little axe and he's got like a bow, and I mean, it's just it's just really cool can. <laughs> it's just a you really know, cool can. Essentially the workforce of of all of the goblins is the hobgoblin. Oh man. So I'm gonna give it a sniff. Sweet. It's it smells like a beer. It. Sweet. There's really I nothing else I can. I, it's it's, but it's got a multi sweetness to it. Cheers. Mm. Okay, that's really good. I like that a lot. Um, very straightforward. Um, but you really get the. I think you really get the sweetness of those malts. I get I get the citrus in it too. Uh, I on the back, get, yeah. It's, on the back, it's very nice. It's good. It's that's really good. Really good. good. It's uh, <laughs> it's better than I thought it was going to be. Um. It's lived up to, thus far, it's lived up to uh, the badass can that it has. I'll be honest, I like this a lot. And not just because it was recommended to us. Um, when I first got into drinking beer, um, my buddy Todd, also a supporter of the channel, said... Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Said that, uh, hey, I really like Killian's on draft. Killian's is an Irish red. And uh, that red... Those reds kind of get their sweetness from that maltiness, you know, the kind of that smoothness. And this reminds me a lot, a lot of that. I, I, that's really good. Yeah, I think it's better than a Killian's. I, oh, not, yeah. I'm oh, not yeah. a big fan of Killian's, but I like this. I would say. So. Super. I mean, the head goes away on it. I mean, it's it looks more like a Killian's than a Killian's does, if that makes any sense. I, it's got more I, of a red. It's what a Killian strives to be. It's like when a Killian grows up. <laughs> when it becomes an adult. When it levels up. There we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been geeked out about trying this beer for like a week now. Yeah. I'm um, pretty excited about it. I had to uh, um, drive what would be probably a total from my house, probably an hour and 15 minutes, like um, one way 
to a place called Fryer Tucks, which is kind of like a uh, beverage depot, maybe Benny's if you guys have that near you. Um, but Fryer Tucks kind of specializes in, I would say, more high-end, more obscure kind of things than your average liquor store and even your average uh, beverage depot kind of place. So, but it was totally worth it because I like this a lot, and I've never had an English Ruby. Yeah, it's really good. Either, yeah, but... Yeah, this is my first time with an English Ruby as well, and it's really tasty. I could see myself seeking out English Rubies because of this beer, honestly. Yeah, I mean, that's a, an accurate statement. I think mm -hmm. that that would, be a, that would be a fun thing to do. Maybe we can do a... Maybe we can do like a two or three Irish Ruby comparison video or something. Oh, that'd be fun. Let, let us know if you guys want to see something like yeah, that. Yeah, that'd be, be fun. More we might do it anyway, because I mean, yeah. I, mean, I, just I mean, you know, we just like to drink, really. <laughs> it's just an excuse <laughs> to do it. Um, That's fantastic. So what would, what really would you give this? Um, if I was going to have to give it a rating mm -hmm. out of five. Out of five, because we're not doing it on ten, we're doing it out of five. Yeah, out of five. <laughs> um, I'm going to say this is probably a four. Uh, the reason I say four is because uh, this is the only one I've had, <laughs> so I don't know what to kind of gauge it against. But based off of what we're experiencing alone, I would agree. Um, the only reason I wouldn't give it something like a five out of five is because, I mean, after you get past the sweetness and the maltiness and the, just the, the flavors it's got going on, it doesn't, it kind of goes away. You get a little bit of a citrus aftertaste, but it's nothing... Yeah, it's nothing just, like it's just kind of wow. it, it dies pretty quick in your mouth. Uh, it, it's not, but that's, it's not like a it's not like a porter where you could taste the coffee a couple seconds afterwards. It's not like an IPA yeah. where you can taste, you know, somebody slamming hops into your throat, you know, <laughs> or like a milk stout where you like you have that smooth, like you just had, you know, milk <laughs> in your mouth. I'm really enjoying this. Um, I'd give it a four too. Um, Terry, thank you for the recommendation, brother. This is this is fantastic, brother. Brother, thank you, brother. Brother, it's <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> really though, thank you so much, uh, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Yes. Uh, don't forget to scope out our other videos. Uh, check out some of the channels that we follow. Yeah, they're all good um, people. Yeah, I, I think. I, I don't, we don't know them personally. They might be sex so. murderers. I don't know. I mean. We're not spreading any rumors. Nobody's an axe murderer <laughs> that we that know. We know. You don't know. But uh, thanks again, guys. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, obviously, cheers. Cheers.